Uh, creepy head. Something sinister about it. Maybe it's the white eyes. Oh! The axe is actually a separate item that I can, like, use use. Shit, I should have used that on the grandmother. Maybe I would have killed him in one hit. A bit more humane. Who's that little fella? Since the beginning of the events, my life changed dramatically. I was lucky that the disease did not affect me, but there are still a bunch of troubles. Living here is definitely easier than in the city. Subsistence farming helps greatly, because now I can't go to the store to buy potatoes with meatballs, can't taste any cold beer. The marauders beset, traveling from place to place, robbing travelers, do not disdain with anything. Must have completely forgotten of conscience and honor. Sooner or later, I will have to get out of here. Should be able to get into this house now. I'm surprised you can't take the duct tape. I think that'd be super useful. You can do so many things with it. There's another one. This is a totally different house. Let's use some more batteries. I don't think they did anything. Ooh! Gas can! Did I need that for something? Maybe I will need it for something. I love the sound of the- Whoa, why are you running? Uh, friend? Where are you going? Did my best friend just abandon me? Wait, what am I saying best friend? They're not my best friend. We're totally gay lovers. Gay lovers in the... Zombie? Question mark. Apocalypse? They just really wanted to get over there by... That... that wh why are they inching along the ground? Do you see that? What are you doing? You're really disturbing me. I think they're good. No, they just moved again. Okay. You better still be there when I get back. Newsfeed chaos is coming. The virus unknown to science continues to claim lives all around the world. 
Scientists have a hypothesis that the virus may be the newest strain of Ebola virus. The symptoms are similar, however, the impending epidemic threatens with far more serious consequences. The disease is practically incurable and proceeds very rapidly. The mortality rate is 83%, and rare cases the patients have the immune system, which in a few days display the displays the body of toxic substances and removes the virus. Displays? I'm not sure what they meant by that. But, uh... Yeah. 83% mortality. That is the vast majority of all of the human population that has died. But 17% of people is still a lot of people, though, left alive. Doesn't mention anything about zombies, but I don't know about that grandmother. You still there, buddy? <laughs> They've moved a little bit, but they're still basically there. Really just itching to go. Are we going to use that minecart? Is that one of those, um... That seems to be our transport. Looks very perky. Let me guess it needs... It needs gas. Yeah, it's not one of the hand-powered ones. It's gas-powered. I have to look for fuel. Not really. Anything else to explore? Don't think so. Ran out of gas? Не боись, Петрович. Скоро до города доберемся. Don't worry, Petrovich. We'll soon get to the city. Or Petrovich, I think it's pronounced. We're moving at like a millimeter per second. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in control of the thing. I need to press forwards and backwards. <laughs> okay. What if I just go backwards? It's beautiful out here.
There's somebody over there. They're just like tending the field. Uh, can I get off? Oh, that's cool. You turn on the your flashlight, but instead of your flashlight, it's the thing's light. Uh, yeah, it looks like you can't get off. Okay. You think we'd say hi or something, huh? You switch rail arrows, you're close to them. Okay. Where are we gonna go by default? So this is not where- oh, I think there's a downed tree up there. I think we need another line. Yeah, wow. Take a look at this. That's a strong message. We just blow through this. Okay, good. just bounced off that one. Springy. A technical train used to run here before. It was delivering the materials. Someday everything will run wild here. If we don't get back on our feet. When you lose everything, any little thing reminds us of the happy past and be extremely valuable and necessary. Nobody would ever write anything like that on a wall. Not in that way. <laughs> they would express that very differently. It just sounds so strange for like wall graffiti art. Push this out of the way. I do wonder though, what's down that line? Aha! Batteries. Rewarded. And I think once we hit the rest of this, I don't think we'll be strong enough to move them all. Yep. I've got something here. In order to not feel bored. That's very sweet, honey.
And for a long journey we feel sadness, even if we know that we've got happiness waiting for us at the end of this road. But what do you feel when you realize that there are no, there's no happiness ahead and never will be? I think my character said something around the fire back when we were in the barn about um, about fulfilling a promise or something like that. And we also said something about how we're, we'll be in the city soon. So that's what I've gathered about what we're doing. We're going to the city to fulfill a promise. Terminal point, Petrovich. The train reached its final destination. I didn't catch the very end part. Is this the city? Certainly bigger than any place we've seen before. Gotta find out how to pry the chain. I don't want to climb over the fence. Yeah, barbed wire. The sun's almost down. Ah, should work for the chains. Yesterday we dragged a huge wolf from the hunt. Apparently the one who was stealing our sheeps for the last couple of months. That beast was strong. Three bullets from a rifle didn't kill him right away. We don't hurry to rejoice. There are still a bunch of wild animals around. It looks like the beasts are feeling our slack, hounding us from out from our homes. I think being a city or a relatively large place, there'd be people. Hey, a chicken! Come here! Give me a little balker. Got a blurry picture of a chicken. Covered by grass. Yeah, there we go. Got a nice mud shot of that one. Oh. Oh, Christ. Am I the only one who reads that as a body? Like, when I see it from here, I think body. I think... That looks like a head, that looks like the body, like the torso. Just a bunch of trash. Oh shit. They didn't die from the epidemic. At least not directly. Oh, 
thought there'd be a note or something. Something to suggest why they're here, but... I guess not. Should I really take a picture of this? Yeah? I don't think it's disrespectful, is it? It really pays to explore in this game. I mean, not really in any kind of, you know, reward way. Like, I wouldn't say that finding a dead body is a reward. But, I mean, I guess it sort of is, in a way. It's a reward and then I learn more about the world. Oh, hey! It's a goat. What's goading on? Don't want to get up? Yeah, big mood. I wonder if I can break this. Nope. There's definitely an inside of this building, but... Doesn't seem like there's any way to get inside. Well, there's smoke in a couple of these homes coming out of the chimneys, I just realized. There must be people inside. on the inside of this place, but where's the entrance? Just the one that's locked? Hmm. Oh, hey! Thought I heard some birds. Oops. What's the problem? Who? what? Get the hell out of here. What is going on? Who even are these people? Oh, I missed a quick time event. There's quick time events. Uh. Yeah. Well, these are the worst quick time events ever. Did. <laughs> did we fail, or is that supposed to happen? I. The what? Okay, apparently we just failed because it's just restarting it. Alright. This is the weirdest quick time event and also the weirdest cutscene. The noise, like the sound design is terrible. Bastards will catch you later. Thank you, boys. If it wasn't for you, I'd be dead. You must be travel weary. Uh, offering us tea and raspberry jam? I don't know what just happened. I was trying to take a picture of a bird, and then suddenly that. <laughs> It's how we live here. It's hard, but there's nothing to choose. We all want to go back to the past. I saw a powerhouse nearby. Didn't you try to run the system? There's no one. In our village, there are a few people, and hardly some any one of them will understand something something how to run the power plant, I guess. 
My friends, I hope you enjoyed it. And for me, it's time to sleep. Good night, Uncle Misha. So is that supposed to be raspberry jam? Is that what that is? Can you help me put together a jigsaw puzzle? Were they talking to me? Because they weren't looking at me. But yeah, if that's supposed to be raspberry jam, then that is a lot of jam. Hello, Dad. I'm running to you from Moscow with warm greetings from our whole family. How are you and Dima? What about the local bullies? You said you got some into some disagreements which you couldn't solve. I hope everything is well now. We are fine. The city's quite empty and it's quite on the streets and because of it it's very alarming. There are some people appearing periodically, not local, uh, wreckers generally. They rummage homes and remove different rubbish. In sum, this place is not safe now and we try to stay at home all day. We nailed up the windows and hung several locks on the doors. In the evenings, we read books with the with the daughter under the light of a kerosene lamp, while Victor is on a provision walk. Recently, we met a, we met a good salesman. He gathers some electronics over the city, then sells it to people. And we got provision once a week for helping him. It really helps us. Well, I hope it will all be over soon, and we move to you finally, in a week or two. We need only to arrange the car. We'll help you with the farm. Uh, live in a country style. Fresh air, nature. Maybe it's all for the best. So, just wait. Love you very much and hope to see you soon. Best wishes from the daughter, Irina. Oh. Whoa. They made like a whole mini game for this. That's impressive. Oh, I think I got it. Just one more piece. It's a cute little cat and dog. Wait, that's... Oh, good. <laughs> I was weird for a second. Thank you. You're welcome. So I just go to bed whenever I want to, looks like. That's a really strange picture. That is such a strange picture. Wow, look at that. Like, really look at it. And you have people that look like they've been taken out of maybe a stock photo and they're in color and look pretty good. And then you got a couple people, two of them, specifically the, uh, I guess, dad and the kid in the center the center bottom that are obviously from the game and they look totally different and also they're all like gray and desaturated where everyone else isn't that is such a weird portrait Petrovich, where are you from Petrovich? From Lipetsk. Oh, seriously? How'd you manage to survive? They say it was very hard there. I 
I don't remember much. Uh, I woke up on a hospital bed, dead bodies all around, stench and blood stains. There was a guy on a floor who was hanging about the hospital rooms and calling for help, but there was nothing to do. Yes, that was us. He gasped, uh, gasped, uh, it died. Uh, disease killed him in a short time and I had immunity as it turned out. I don't even know what would be better. What would be better? To have immunity or just die with the rest of people, I mean? Oh, this feels very stalker. Listening to someone play an acoustic guitar around a campfire. Yeah, I'm here. Can't sit down. I'll just crouch down. Do they have a secret in their shed or something? Hey, there's somebody here. Hey? Hello? I'm guarding the production here. Production? People from all over the city are coming to Grandfather to buy moonshine. Ah! Got a still going on. Recently, though, the bandits got attached. They require a tribute from the business. Ah. Protection money. Well, keep at it. Always gotta look in the toilets. One day I'll find something. Probably can't just go to the rest of the town, right? No way. Let's go to sleep. Can't sleep? Not without you to cuddle me. I can't sleep either. Nightmares. I wanted to ask you, where'd you get that scar on your face? 
Well, exactly from those nightmares. Car accident. When you're young and full of energy, it seems like nothing can bring you down. When you start to do anything crazy, a lot of foolish things, some of them you can't forget and forgive to yourself. This is interesting. I need to dial a number. There's a bunch of numbers around the table. And I can uh, choose which one to dial. Oh, this is really neat. Uh, okay, well, actually, I, I don't really know when the game saves exactly, but I'm pretty sure since we just had a loading screen, it just saved. So I'm actually going to end this here, even though this isn't exactly the best time to end. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return... We're going to dial a couple numbers.